Yay. 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 Let's go be hot. Off camera. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> this is Tiff. Hey. Tiffany, we love her so much. She's an, the owner of the most gorgeous salon in all of Austin called Damn Glam. We're obsessed. And you may recognize Tiffany from Here I, <laughs> where her salon was also featured. So excited to show you this place. This salon's gorgeous. Welcome to Damn Glam. This is gorgeous. Hi, Tiffany. Hey. And this is Jamika, who is one of Tiffany's clients and friends, who has the most gorgeous hair you've ever seen. Can we even stand how gorgeous this texture is? What does it feel like to be this stunningly gorgeous? Do you ever oh get tired? <laughs> Isn't it exhausting carrying the weight? We're going to be doing curly maintenance and hairstyle. No. Yay! It's okay. It's okay. Honestly, styling. we, yeah, styling. <laughs> We did prep the hair with Nurture Shampoo, Nurture Mask. Textured hair often needs moisture, just like it needs strength, just like it needs volume. So any of our shampoos and conditioners are amazing for all textures of hair, 1A to 4C. But in this case, because we were doing curls, we wanted to do Nurture. Nurture has aloe leaf juice, it has ceramides, it also has our gorgeous hemisqualane. Um, and hemisqualane just really brings out the best in all the ingredients that it's with. That's why hemisqualane is featured in all of our formulas. She has <sighs> super malleable hair, so it can kind of pull out to anything. It can be as curly as you want or less condensed waves. I want to enhance these curls as much as we can today. Yes. So let's do curly curl, curl, curl. Oh, where do you like to part your hair? In the middle. You do? Okay, let me just clean that up a little bit. Okay, there we go. Does that feel really nice and center? Yeah, it's Thank perfect. You. Sometimes if you just do like straight up partings, it can be kind of hard to like diffuse the lines. So you can see I just did a zigzag part in here. So, but we do like to section because it just is like easier if you're doing this on yourself. So I'm just gonna clip this away. So let's go in with Instant Recovery Serum first. The reason we wanna go in with Instant Recovery Serum first is we wanna balance the porosity of these curls. If you don't balance the porosity of the hair, it's, it's harder for the curls to stay the same texture all over. This is also just giving your hair a big drink of water. Because the ends of the hair have been on the head for so much longer than the new growth, we do want to kind of give the hair like some nutrition and that's what the serum does. Give her like a little more on those ends. Yes. It's so important to keep the hair super moisturized before you diffuse because you're gonna be putting hot air on cold, wet hair. Will you do me my patented favor of just holding my wedding ring because I don't want to rip your hair out? Love you so much, Thanks. you're the best. Just literally put it on your finger. Let's get like almost mirroring. There you go. Um, it's fine, I love that. We're I love same it. Size. We're, oh. Oh. <laughs> do you want some air dry cream yes, for your please. life? So you can see, we are gonna show you how much we're kind of using here. You cut, when you have curls, you really want that, or you want a little more? Yeah, we need more. So when you have real curls and you are, or when you're doing a curly set, you want to really distribute it. So I have this whole entire section and I am really getting this all up in the hair. I'm gonna even do a little more. Cause you know what they say about our air dry cream? What do they say? It brings all the boys to the yard. It has our linseed. It has our, which is also flax, and it also has our chia. So those are our natural film formers that are going to make your natural waves really come out to play. I like to do this little thing where I like run it through the fingers so that it kind of like brings out its little like waves. I'm mm -hmm. kind of just like shaking it after I run my fingers through it to kind of get it back in its natural state. Okay, so now we're gonna move our way up into the back. So I'm using about this much on this whole section on my side. And Tip is using about the same amount. I'm rubbing it through my hands and I'm really distributing it, distributing it throughout the hair, using my fingers to work it. And one thing that Emily taught me is I kind of use like the channels of my fingers to kind of like distribute the product through. And then as you can see Tiffany's doing, you kind of work your way up. You literally want to hear a little bit of squelch in the hair. Like if you don't hear that squelch in your curls, it's gonna be frizzy. Mm -hmm. I can already tell you, you have to have that amount of product in there for it to not get frizzy on you. 
how do you feel like you want to do we it? We can go in like the in quadrants and then kind of finger curl those front pieces that might have a little less curl in them. And then when you say finger curl, do you like mean the way like when you wrap it around your finger and just? Uh, mm -hmm. I, I love that. I just like twist it only around the hairline, really, where it's a little bit more straight because I don't want to manipulate her hair texture too terribly much. Are you don't? No, I, I don't. That. I was gonna like really f manipulate the. <laughs> out of it. I'm going to do them just like in this first half inch of the hairline. Yes. Anything that's a little bit more straight, adding a little bit of product to it and kind of twisting it in your finger. Yeah, when you do the finger <laughs> curls, should I add like more product to those areas or the same? Like, because there are like the front piece of my hair mm -hmm. are a little straighter just from like heat damage. Totally. I think it helps. So sometimes on my hair, I'll do instant recovery serum mm -hmm. or I'll do air dry cream. It depends. But if you see, I'm taking my finger and like wrapping it around. Mm -hmm. And then I take that little circle and I'm gonna take the leftover air dry cream that I have and I'm just gonna kind of like pinch it on the whole section. Okay. And these curls that we're doing here is we're just twisting them and twisting them and twisting them around our finger. And she's got this sweet little curtain fringe that we cut whenever. She wears her hair straight a lot, but yeah. the little curtain fringe is so cute. Like little face adornments. I love that. Her. I'm just going to do a couple of finger curls on the top. Just yeah. I don't want to get jealous. It is nice to do on the hairline too in opposite directions because that will provide a little bit more volume if you're someone who has a straighter root mm. and then more curl in the bottom of your hair strand. This is going to give you a little bit more volume mm. naturally without really having to do anything too crazy to it. Love it. It's giving cute, giving cute. It's still pretty wet. This is going to feel different than it does back here because we have that bit of product in it. Mm -hmm. But that's also a good part about pinning it up when you're not working in those sections, you're retaining moisture. Now, do you like to put a little bit of mousse in at this point? This is the Authentic Beauty Concepts mousse, which we love. And Walt Turner, this is how I try to do it to get it everywhere. I take it between two hands. Yes. Drop your head back from it. Yes. And we just kind of like pat it on Love it. the outside first and the underneath. And then we'll go in and just like scrunch. Distribution of product throughout the hair is so important for curls. This is what makes your curl set last for like five days as opposed to like one day. Mm -hmm. So is the mousse adding like some hold here? Yes. The, also the air dry cream has hold in it with the okay. chia seed and the linseed extract because okay. they're natural film former. So it's okay. going to help to create a little hold. What the mousse is going to do is it's going to give you a little bit of like humectant quality. It's going to like keep attracting moisture into the hair mm -hmm. um, from the atmosphere. It's going to keep the curls really refreshed. It's also going to give them a little bit of a springiness to them. Okay. You can already see how good it looks. Like you can already see that the hair is hydrated, it's happy. So now when you diffuse, Tiffany, do you like to do medium heat, medium speed and hover? And then once I get the outside dry, I'll go in with high heat, low speed. Do or tilty, tilty, mm -hmm, okay, upside cool. down. Let's go ahead and start. Oh. Oh. Now we're going to start to just work a little bit of a tilt to get a little bit of like volume in our lives. I mean, like a hardcore, like, salt for your life. You better. Look at these gorgeous waves. I don't know why that fucking Christina Aguilera song just came in my hair or my head. Can't hold us down. Na, 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 na. Do you remember that song? She's like, some men call us home. <laughs> like, there's a... Will you flip your hair upside down? Yeah, forward. Yes, queen. Give me all that good volume. There's no frizzies happening on this hair. Not in this hair. This way we're getting like all the hair off the roots, so whatever hasn't dried at the root is starting to get dry and create that volume. Yes. How did you get here? No. <laughs> you know that song? No. Really? No. Deborah Cox, funny. <laughs> Yeah. You're also like gonna get a completely different result from diffusing and air drying, especially when you have texture like Jamaica's. If she were to air dry, it would be significantly different and less defined than when we use a diffuser on it. They're both great. They just do different things. I feel like diffusing gives your hair a little bit more oomph than an air dry will. Have you ever seen this little thing? And you just like go in it and like lift it like this a little. It gets Using your teeth? Yes. <laughs> I love that little thing. And are you guys drying it all the way? Before I knew how to style textured hair, I used to be like, 
only diffuse it 80 percent of the way mm -hmm. and then let it air dry the rest of the time but then i realized i just was never using enough product i think it depends on how much moisture your hair retains if your roots are significantly more textured than the rest of your hair sometimes i will let that dry because it's like air dry because it's going to dry differently and more naturally than when you use a diffuser. It's like, I feel like whenever you see how like juicy it was right after we applied product before we even got it, you know in that moment how good it's gonna look diffused. You can't see any sectioning in your hair at all. That zigzag gave us life. I did take mine down to like one, like one instead of two, like half the power. I almost wanna flip her upside Me down too. again. Yeah. Wow, this looks amazing. I like how the fun is and it doesn't feel like too unrealistic. Well, yeah, and like too short. I feel like every time my hair curls really nice, I feel like it looks too short, but I don't feel like it does there. How amazing do these curls look? They look so gorgeous. So we have to get here, nurture shampoo, nurture mask, Instant recovery serum all over the hair wet. Applied air dry cream section by section. Did a few finger enhanced curls. Applied some mousse. Did diffusing every which way, side, side, back, upside down. We've just flipped up. There's a few little curls like this one, like that you can really see where we kind of set it. So all we're gonna do to finish this off, we have a little bit more instant recovery serum. She's got hers on her hand. And we're just gonna break up some of these waves. Having a little bit of that, like we love, we a love a natural frizz. Yes. We love a natural frizz. And but when you're separating the curls, are you like finger curling them a little? A or? little tiny okay. bit, just to make sure that they still know where they came from. You know, just like giving them a little like, be good as you go. <laughs> and the nice thing was that this actually really didn't take long. No, not mm -hmm. at all. Like this, literally, like not even TV YouTube timeout. This took like. <laughs> 40 minutes, maybe. And can we just like let these people get a 360 view of these waves and curls? Look at this. So nice. And look at how you can literally like bounce and mold and touch these waves. They are not frizzing up. And we used so much product. And mm -hmm. I do think that's one thing that people with all sorts of different types of curly wavy hair just don't realize how much you really need to use. They're scared, but yeah. it'll absorb. It'll absorb and do what it's supposed to do. I normally like my hair strands are very fine. So I usually like shy away from using that much product. Um, so I'm surprised by yeah how it's like not weighed down at all. So you could absolutely have more fun with this and put it half up. You could do half down. You could like even braid a scarf into this if you wanted to. You could like take it back into like a loose little cute ponytail and then maybe like flip your part over. Um, so there are lots of little, you could also take this and do like a cute little like on day two. <gasps> that is an important thing we have to talk about. Yeah. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. How would we sleep with this? We would do like a little silk wrap. You can do a silk wrap, you can do a pineapple. I love a pineapple. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pineapple girl. Mm -hmm. So you do, that'd be like a loose uh, silk scrunchie gathered on top of the head. Yep. You just don't want to overwash curls, waves. Like that's a really important thing for maintenance. I also feel like silk pillowcases at home are really important for maintenance. Then to take it out tomorrow, we would just mist with water. And just get, get the hair like lightly damp, nothing like Super not stopping right. okay. like like a nice damp like you were outside when it was raining and there's all those little beads on the top yes. of your hair and then you're not going to really and then you're not really going to diffuse that though you're just going to okay. kind of like scrunch that in and mm -hmm. like be about your day mm -hmm. after misting with water i would go back through with a little bit you could do instant recovery serum and air dry cream together but i mean like a little bit okay. like a pea of each because on day two you don't yeah. need as much because all that product is still in there you're just reactivating it okay um, and the water will reactivate it, which is great. Shake out these curls. I hope you enjoyed our curly maintenance and styling video. We did it! Yay! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Jerry Bear, should you just run past the camera and wave? <laughs> I'll do a quick just yeah. a little cameo. Yay, Jerry Bear! Thanks, Jerry Bear! Yay! Uh. Wow. Yay. 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 Let's go be hot. Off camera. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> we did it.